The head of the Charles Regatta gets underway tomorrow in Boston. And in tonight's Five for Good, the inspiring story of this year's race director, as Erica Tarantel reports right now, she has overcome extreme adversity and she's advocating for others. Take a look. Even on a rainy, windy morning, rowing coach Pat Guida readies this double skull. We suffer a lot. We do a lot of training for a very small amount of race time, so we tend to find a lot of resiliency in the sport. Jen Devlin, who Pat coaches, says resilient is the perfect way to describe her rowing partner. She's such a hard worker, so willing to, to kind of go above and beyond to make the boat go well. And in all things, really, I mean, obviously. It is obvious once you know Amy Mayer's story. It's one we first brought to you in 2014 when Amy returned to rowing after a battle with breast cancer. The mother of two was just 37 at the time. You get that diagnosis and you immediately feel like your life is over. Um, and that was the year of the 50th head of the Charles Regatta. It was really important to me to race. And so she she did just five months after her diagnosis. Fast forward five years, something else felt off. Amy noticed being off balance. She was having trouble with easy math. She had an MRI. What it ended up being actually was a meningioma um, tumor, which actually was fused to my brain stem. It was basically tangled up with my cranial nerves, which control all kinds of things in your head. A 20 hour surgery followed. One false move could have proven fatal. She had to relearn to talk and walk. When she had the first surgery, she was wanting to get back on the boat right away, and I was just concerned, you know, is it okay with your doctors? Are you going to do it? And she's like, I, I need to do this. So we just did it. Athletes work really hard. We get up really early. Our muscles hurt, and we, like, persevere through things. And so I actually have gone through these difficult health situations trying to use that rowing mindset. Sharing that mental toughness, helping others through the complex process of navigating health challenges has become Amy's mission. You're the warrior preparing for battle. You're going into battle by doing your research so that you have a good outcome. I did the same thing with my brain tumor. I've had a very successful outcome and that's the same advice that I give anybody else that comes to me and says, Amy, this is what I just found out. What do I do? Amy and Jen are competing in the head of the Charles Regatta. Amy is also this year's race director. Good luck to the rest of the field matching her grit. She just keeps coming back for more. <laughs> she is totally an inspiration. She just doesn't give up. She comes back every time and it's awesome. Amy races both Saturday and Sunday between 840 and 9. We wish her luck and you can see more of her tomorrow morning helping to coach the eye opener team. They're celebrating race weekend with a race of their own. Erica Tarantel, WCVB News Center 5. We wish her every